right? 79 after Shadow Man, a little different. It's Penny Racers. A uh, game I've never played. I know not much about. Besides, that's a racing game. I assume with tiny little cars or something. So let's see what it's all about. Get that audio up. Not enough pages. Oh my god, Shadow Man's taking up so much space. We're fine, right? I, I don't think I've ever played this. There's a, there's a small chance I may have played it as a kid, like renting it, and I don't really remember it. That's always a possibility. I rented a lot of things as a child. Okay, Penny Racers. 1998. Is there any info on this game at all? Penny Racers 1998. Um, oh, it's a Choro Q, Choro Q game. I can see that now looking at it. There's a lot of these in Japan that just get called different things when they come to America. I've played some Choro Q games. Made by Takara and then localized by THQ. Yeah, uh, Choro, Choro Q is like the little like, you know, Gosh upon like little cute little toy cars. I've I played the uh the PS2 one. Stereo, please. Settings. Save load. Retire. Uh start game. Let's go. Country, lakeside, harbor, mountain, ruins, volcano, alpine, caves, ice. Okay, well, let's just start here. Ooh, I like this one. I like the red ones, too. <laughs> A little dump truck. Cute. Oh, the ramen cart? All right, well, we're going to have to go with that. That's absolutely... I have no idea what the buttons are. We have cannons? <gasps> they do. Okay. I mean, the graphics are definitely nothing special. Whoa! Okay. You drift like a madman. It controls... Like, pretty solid. Like, of course, the, the comparison is compared to MK64. You're always going to compare racing games like this to that. It feels good. Drifting's weird. Okay, what are these? I can change that. First person, third person, zoom out. It does look a like... The grass looks like... Um, like Mario Circuit or something. It does look like a Mario Kart track. With the textures and everything. Music's nice and bombastic. No items or anything? Oh, they got items. Oh, my, I'm getting bodied right at the end. Burger? Jay's Burger. Yeah, no, this, uh, this feels pretty good. Gotta pick it up. Excuse me, 150 miles an hour? Yeah, for a game that's based on, like, little toy capsule toy cars, it's solid. We'll see. The main thing that will, like, make or break a game like this is the variety in the tracks, because, like, it feels pretty good to race. I lost. Um... So as long as the tracks have good variety, you're good to go. It's also very Mario Kart. 
Oh, the winner gets to take parts from the loser? That's kind of cool. But my parts, though. Yeah, we did country. Oh, it's a little car that is cute. Let's try lakeside. Ooh, it's going to be raining. I, I can't leave my ramen cart behind. Game is actually pretty neat. You rented it once. Yeah, I definitely didn't rent this one, but I could see, like, I would have enjoyed this if I rented this back as a kid. It's pretty solid. What are they doing? So do I have to, like, win parts to customize my car? Um, to get weapons like that? Yeah, that rain does make it slick. I'm so far behind. Can I use the D-pad to race? No, I have to use the analog stick. It's going to take a race or two to really get the hang of it. Yeah, I don't really have any complaints other than, like, visually, the, like, backgrounds. The, the cars and stuff look good. The backgrounds don't look great. They're very plain. Like those trees and some of the walls. Oh! But that's not, you know, the... Ow. Can I take this? Oh, that's a bomb. It's not the, the biggest deal in a racing game like this. Yeah, I doubt this game actually uses the expansion pack to pump up the resolution. It didn't say it detected the expansion pack when, uh, when I turned it on, like those would, so... We got to do better than, like, fifth or sixth place. Oh, let's go. Ah, you bunts off hard. Yes, yeah, it seems good, but it definitely falls into that, like, rental category. This wouldn't be something I'm, like, feel like I have to own. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'll take second. <gasps> no! I'll take third. I'll take fourth. God. What happened to that last half a second? It's ridiculous. I do like the little pink car. Music's good. The era of Rubber Band AI, yeah. It feels it. It does feel it. Oh, I can change color. They have purple. That's kind of purple. Just go through all the tracks. Hold on. Violation. Okay. So I can't have more than six points. So I can bump up. I need to bump up my engine, I guess. 
uh, tire. I don't have anything. Brakes, suspension, armor. No extra, no special. I spin! That's it? Just spin power? I can't take it because I can't use any more points. I'd rather have more speed. Okay, I'm good with that. It's Rico Harbor. Again, I'll say, like, while the backgrounds are not much to look at, the cars themselves are pretty sharp. Like, those are solid models. Again, there's not much in the game. Everything that's not on the track that's, like, outside of the fence is just nothing. Just flat green. Jesus Christ. It's rough. I have to, like, win so I can get, like, an attack. But I guess you just, it doesn't seem like there's cups or anything like Mario Kart. You just, you just race. Ooh. You just race and like, if you win, you get to take parts from the other cars and you just do that until you have the car you're happy with. That blends into the background. Wow, you even get the big jump like in Mario Kart. This is well before DS though. Drift is wild. It's rough. I feel like I'm getting bullied, honestly. Like, come on. It's my first time playing the game. Some of those like little cow trips are hard to see. Like, look at that. How are you supposed to react to that? And I go from second to fifth in an instant. Yeah, it is charming. Oh no, it's not charming anymore. Saw out of world for a second. Come on. It definitely feels like I need to just race. Like, as you race more and get better parts, it'll become easier. But it's a rough start. Dude. Need to get at least third. Oh, too much. Dude, that's insane. Second place, keep it up. Oh, oh no, oh no. And there it all goes. I was doing so good in the middle of the race. Come on. Really? Really? That's, that's a... And then they get even better because they keep winning. Why does this sound like something out of like, <laughs> sounds like an RPG theme. It's 
playing Chora Q, not Chrono Trigger. All right, what do we got? We got mountain ruins and volcano and alpine and caves and ice. There's still a couple left. Watch it be something like, I assume all the cards are the same besides the parts you put in them, but it's like, oh, the ramen cart's the worst. Oh, okay. The tracks are, whoa! That was cool. The tracks are varied enough that I'm enjoying them. Touch someone, you go flying. Okay, this is pretty short. Okay. Okay. Might have a chance. That sucks! Oh no! Off-road is real bad. Yeah, you like go flying if you turn too sharp. But it's like, I gotta turn sharp. Some of these turns are like 90 degree turns. Catch up. Oh, what is happening? So much for that. Another sixth place for me. Why is this so ridiculously hard to do anything? Like, it's, it's like I'll be in like first, second place every race until the end. It just drops me back. I'm gonna try a different car. Can I do that? Am I allowed to do that? No? No, I'm not. That's fine. Ruins. Oh, it's nighttime. It doesn't feel like there's like a Mario Kart style boost. The fact that you don't get an attack. This is cool. This is a cool track. Okay, lesson learned. That won't happen again. Yeah, these later tracks really ramp it up. Pun intended. Ooh. It's a, a stark contrast to Shadow Man and, uh, like 30 minutes ago. Oh, I didn't see it. 
No, that's fucked up. That was messed up. Two in a row? Dude. Oh my god. I saw the caltrip and I couldn't dodge this other spikes. Get out of my way! Dude, <laughs> I would have been real mad if that was the last lap and that's how that happened. I keep doing that. How did that, him touching me? I feel like I need more acceleration because when I get to my top speed, I start cruising by people. It's just hard to get up there. Let's go. Let's go. No, I was supposed to hit the boost. Please, third place. Let's go. I'll take it. So I get third pick. What should I even take? Acceleration, I guess. Top end. Well, I guess that makes water not hurt you as much. Lights, smoke spikes. I'll take your acceleration. So I can put that on now. Acceleration, suspension, armor. Puts me in violation. Okay, no. Oh, I see. Is the cue the like gold, bronze, nothing, bronze, bronze? Probably. Track level hard. Volcano. Man, this kind of just makes me want to be playing uh, Diddy Kong, Diddy Kong Racing. I'm excited for that to come up. I'm definitely getting better at this, though. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, sir, can you back off? Oh, no. Okay. Some snowboard kids vibes? Yeah, I could see that. I, I can appreciate, like, 
games like that, they're like really simple. Oh no. Very simple. There's a lot of holes. Simple, straightforward racers. N64 has a handful of those. Stuff like Snowboard Kids, where it's just good, simple, fun. You know? You don't need much more out of it. Man, I started this, that lap off so good. It just fell to pieces. I'm still in third, though. Went from a 30-second lap on a track to this one takes a minute and a half. I do like how wide some parts of this are. Just noticed your little tail lights light up. That's kind of cute. Oh, come on. Damn, my acceleration is dog. Get out of my way. Yeah, these, some of these tracks are rough. It did say this one was hard. Like, what was that? That was a little nonsense. We got one lap to pick it up. Jesus. That's, uh, that's just absurd. This track has too much of that. It's getting launched into a corner. Like, what do you want me to do? Am I missing something? Get out of my way. One decent finish. I'll watch him immediately take my acceleration back away that I took. anything good to take no change all right still got alpine caves and ice snow icy road I like the mid view. The other one's just too zoomed out. You know, for a a licensed racing game. It's really not bad. It's 
for something that's ostensibly here to try to sell toys. Way better than it needs to be. This track's really wide. Even if I don't take a turn well, I can still keep moving. I just, my brain just doesn't really get what happens sometimes. I think I understand how to control the game well, and then I just still slip and slide, and I don't really get it. I don't know what I need to do. Fifth? I do like the mechanic of building your own little car if I could do decent enough to unlock some of it and doing higher level because we're just on we're on rank C right yeah class C if I got enough medals on rank C I see road I'd be able to go up to rank B and put more stuff in my car because the limit would be higher that's a cool idea. It's nifty. Got two more tracks. You know, these guys have a lot of stuff on them for there being a six point limit now that I think about it. went very well. Like what 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 was that nonsense? Kind of works. Do you want to do that and then have your like back in bump into the turn to give you a little boost? Maybe that's what you want to do. Yeah, we just lose all my momentum. Someone just stopped moving, I realize. I'm looking at the map. Whoever's in sixth place. Oh, no, there they go.
So if I whoop, do that, and then get a little bump, that kind of works. Kinda. Another hearty fifth place. because I have nothing good to take. Yep, that's what they choose. Alright. I think we're on the last track. Ice. Let's do it. of the tracks are snow tracks. They're like, we made the ice physics. We're going to use them. Why do I keep flipping? This is a cool track, though. Flip for no reason, just right over the railing. Below sixth place. I'm, s I'm doing that a lot. Is that. It's when I tap brake when I'm turning? It is. Why does that do that? I'm just trying to tap brake. Yeah, okay, don't tap brake while you're turning. Got it. Yeah, this is a bad loss. I didn't tap brake that time, it just happened. Try to get that boost. Undersea tunnel. I instinctively want to tap break every now and then. I don't even, I didn't even do it there. I may not fully understand the physics of the game. That doesn't make it bad. Wow, 
Why do you keep throwing me? already finished up. Blow me up. Woof. I think that's the last track. Is there anything else in this? Or are we have we seen it all? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we're back to country. So there's time trial and race series. That seems to be it. New track. Oh, you can make tracks. Oh, and you can make a point to point. That's actually really cool. Oh, this bumps it up in my book. can't do you can't do pass-throughs I can't like make ramps I can have up to 176 pieces or 200 pieces is there no way to like lift it up like to go over I can't make like a bridge change height. Okay, and I can, like, switch what kind of piece it is after that. I can add, like, some ramps, curve. That's pretty cool. Slope. Okay. So if I say track track not correct it can act correct correctly
Okay. Can I try it out? Sure. So this is the track I made. This is actually pretty cool. I definitely could have seen myself as a kid spending time doing something like this. Yeah, and you can make little ramps and everything. That's really cool. That's honestly just really cool. Well, I, I guess that's about it. Make tracks race. Cool, cool game. The customization definitely bumps it up a bit in my book. There's a, there's a fair amount of tracks. Let's move up, turn this down a bit. There's a fair amount of tracks. The customization is really neat. Um, though I'm clearly not very good at it and I didn't fully understand the deal, only started to get the hang of it. Um, it's definitely something that I could have seen myself enjoying as a kid. The customization of both your car and building tracks is really, really cool. And as such, um, I think it's solid. I think it's a solid three. Um... Near the bottom of solid, but still solid. Honestly, really like this one. Yeah, it's it's just like a fun, cute, charming racer. The tracks they have, some of them are really neat. Like this one that it's showing right now, the little like waterfall ruins. Really cool track. And I was just going to say it's like, okay. But the fact that you can build your own track and customize your car really bumps it up. I feel uh, it's really neat. It's really neat. I'd never played it before. But I like it. I like it. I don't know how much I'll play it in the future. But it's a cute one. For what it is, it's pretty solid. Which, you know, puts it in the same league as other games that we were pleasantly surprised by that we didn't know about, like Duel Heroes or Chopper Attack, Blues Brothers, where it's just like, these are solid games. There's not enough to it to really send it up above, you know? Because, like, that's that's it. You know, you're good. But you could get a lot of time out of it with the customization. So, props to you, Penny Racer, Choro Q, N64. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up that. And I think that'll wrap up us for the night, too. We finished Shadow Man, and we got... Uh, I keep saying Choro Q. Penny, Penny Racer's done. Um... We might. I'm kind of feeling Duke Nukem. I think we'll probably start Duke Nukem next time. That one's not terribly long. And have we played a real first person shooter yet? Doom. We played Doom and we played Hexen. I was trying to remember. Though Hexen was weird because it's like melee, like DD style. Um,. But yeah, no, I'm stoked for Duke 2. I love Duke Nukem. It's so... I, I love how absurd the whole... Th everything with Duke Nukem is. Um, I've never really played 64. I don't know if that's like a port of like regular Duke Nukem or if it's in, its entire own thing. Because like Doom 64 is its own original game. I'm not going to look it up right now. But when we get to it, we'll see if it's uh, its own original thing or if it's something else. Because there's also Duke Nukem... Zero Hour. There's two Duke Nukem games on the system. And I believe Zero Hour is a third-person game, if I remember correctly. Whereas Duke Nukem 64 is a regular first-person shooter. 
But yeah, that'll be game number 80. Next time we come back, Duke Nukem will be game number 80. And that might take two sittings to go through, depending on how things go. We'll do that. And hopefully, eventually, the wheel will start giving us some short games uh, on its own that we can play. Because there's so, so many. On a night like tonight where we play for, you know, this was a shorter stream, only a little over three hours. But, like, when we do, like, four or five hour streams of N64 stuff, but it's just because Shadow Man takes 15 hours to beat. If that was just a bunch of short games, we could play, like, five or six games in a night. And we're going to hit the point where that's all that's going to be left. We'll see, but there's still so many more big things for us to play. We haven't played any Zelda yet. We haven't played Kirby. We haven't played so much. So, so much. Smash. We got Pokemon left. Just glancing over this. We got Paper Mario still. We got some Tetrises. We still got Mario Party 3 on the board. Mario Kart, Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, Mega Man. Yeah, still a lot of really good games on there. And a lot of other stuff, too, that I've never played or I played, like, on different systems. Like, Bugs Life, I remember loving as a kid. But I had it on PS1. I don't know how different it'll be. But yeah. Probably Duke next time. And with that, that's going to be it for tonight. I do appreciate you guys tuning in, as always. And uh hope you all have a good one. And I'll see you next time. Good night. Surprisingly well. <laughs> Ashley! Ashley! You okay? Yeah. Ow. If I. What do you mean? His name's Jumpman! He just jumped! I'm, I'm getting the hang of this now. I'm, I'm figuring it out. All right. Oh, I felt it. I felt it. Idiot. I can't believe. No! You're kidding me. Ah! What happens? No! Stop healing! Let's go! Yes! Ugh. Holy shit!